Hey guys, what's up? Well, that was like a bright light. Oh, you can see how shitty my hair looks. <laughs> Are you guys gonna talk? What's up? <clears throat> All right, nobody's talking. Hey, spicy. Hey, Shauna. I thought I didn't know where you guys were. I'm like, how come nobody's saying anything? What's up, Allie? Not sure how long I'm gonna last tonight, but looking forward. I hope you feel better. Hey, Don. So that was some big shit, right? And honestly, there is absolutely no reason for this woman to lie. Hey, Crystal. I mean, I did some research. It, I was shocked. Hey, Tanya. You've been waiting for me, Deb. What's up, Audra? You missed a lot. You got to watch the premiere video. But if you didn't watch the premiere, one thing I want to say is um, if you guys have, if any Chris Watts followers, you have to watch Go Ask. Uh, ask Go Lightly and Wife Swap. Oh my God, it is hysterical. It is the funniest thing I've ever seen. Uh, actually, someone just asked me that. Allie asked me that if the if that info had gone to KZ. I'm gonna ask her right now. Hang on one second. Um. All right, I just asked her. Um, there was big news in another case. What other case? What other case, Ziggy? Turpins? Not familiar with it. I think I've heard of it, but I'm not really familiar with it. Hey, Paul. Buka, stop eating this food. Buka eats all Winston's little food. 13 kids in California. I think I heard that. Come here. Um... What's up, James? So in case you guys haven't watched the other video yet, let me just tell you that one of the things that I caught from Go Lightly, which I was not a fan of her until I saw Wife Swap. Now I'm like a huge fan of hers. But one of the things she said was that she doesn't like calling. And I said this in the video, but if you didn't watch it yet, she doesn't like calling people um, followers or fans or subscribers so she changed it to that we're just like one big community and that we're one big family i was like you know what i'm so adopting that because i love that i love that the fact that we are just a community and we are one big family and we share things and we talk and so i totally adopted that i like family too hey sherry parents starve them and chain them to the bed oh i heard of that case I think so too, James. I thought it was great. Hey, Donna. Hey, Joe. My family, exactly. I was certainly together enough, especially over the next 12 days. I thought we were a cult. That's that's what we're called by guilters is a cult. Fluff and nut of butter is annoying today. Ah, come here. We would be a clan. We would be a clan. Come here. Oh. You guys like his new outfit? It's his Christmas outfit. <laughs> With our PJ parties, we're definitely family. Exactly. Oh. He does look spiffy, but he's a pain in the butt. Right? You pain in the butt. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> yeah, he's a cutie. Lefty cult, according to Doran. Yeah, we are a cult. Left here, one of my favorite YouTubers mentioned one of my other favorite YouTubers. Whoop. I know, he does look like a stuffed animal. He's not, though. He's a pain in the butt. What? You two go fight. Go. Um, there was something else that I was going to talk about. I forgot. Um, now you're going to have to get merch. I believe me, I have a long way to go before I got merch. He's a Maltese. Um, except maybe box for the guys. You missed a big info is that Kasorik shot his brother in the head. That's the big info. Hey, I'm going to try something. Can you guys hear me? Can you guys hear me? Did that mute? I guess not. It did mute or you can hear me. Yeah, it didn't mute then. All right, you guys are going to hear me yell. Because we know I can't unplug it. Dayton! Let the dog out. I know. I don't know why it's not muting. I have it connected to my my keyboard and everything. I don't know why it's not working. Go. Just tell him. Say, come here. Hey, Mama, I need a new mouse. Okay. Okay. No bad dog. <laughs> no, nah, he's a good dog. It's just a pain in the ass. All right, she answered me, by the way. Hold on. She said she hasn't because she doesn't have any proof. I would still give it to her with uh, and let her discover the proof. Um, the right drive. No, it is the right driver. I don't. It's retarded. They just sent me a replacement keyboard too, and it's like retarded. Um, so yeah, so I asked her, she said that she hasn't, um, she hasn't given it to her because she didn't have any proof. So it's just like her word. So I told her to give it to her anyway and let her discover the proof. Find out the year the brother was shot. I looked for news articles. I couldn't find any, but something like that may not have been in the paper. Would you do a live stream watch party of the new city? Of course, Paul. We actually, I actually did that. There's an app that my ex told me about called Rabbit IO or something. And all I do is create a room and then we, as many people want to join, join. Allie, Allie was there. Like one of, um, someone in one of my groups didn't have um, Netflix. So she was like, when it first came out, I was like, how am I going to watch it? So I know I can't stream it on YouTube. So we did this live watch party. So yeah, just let me know when you guys want to do it. I could stream anything on next Netflix. Um, I believe it'll even let me do Cody, but I'm not positive. But I know I can definitely do Netflix. I used to prefer a chat that did that. You can go on any page on the internet and chat. Yeah, it's really cool because it has like this, um, it looks like just like this, except it's streaming Netflix. Obviously, I'm not on it. I'm streaming Netflix, and then it has a chat on the side. And the quality is like perfect. It's like right out of my Netflix. No copyright issues at all. Because it's streaming from, um, it's streaming from my account, my Netflix account. So, you know, technically I paid for that so I could play it wherever I want. Allie, you remember that, right? Let's do a New Year's Eve marathon. I am all for that. 
Uh, yeah, I'm not recording. It's just streaming. Remember when we did making a murderer two in that room? Yeah, Paul, I agree with uh, whoever said New Year's Eve. We could do New Year's Eve. We could do it sooner. It'd be interesting to find out the brother got to the hospital of 911 was called. Yeah, rabbit. That's what I was saying. <clears throat> Let me know when. Are you guys watching The Innocent Man? On Netflix? The first couple of episodes are kind of slow, and the music is pretty much the same as Making a Murderer. Um, I find it very, very slow. Like, really slow. Um, you may not want to watch it, John, when you're kind of tired because it's slow, but it's got a good story. It's okay. Um, it's very slow, especially the first two episodes. Yeah. Jazzy cat by John Grisham. Uh, maybe in the police blotter of the news, not an article. Well, as far as I know, I've checked everything and I couldn't find it. <clears throat> I haven't watched Evil Genius. That was it. Yeah. As a matter of fact, Evil Genius bored me too. I'm like so picky though about what like cases I find interesting. And if it's too slow, I just get distracted. Like Innocent Man, I know I have to watch again because it doesn't hold my interest to just sit there and watch it. Like I'm do I'm cleaning, I'm doing other things. So it's kind of rough. But I, you know, there are certain things I want to watch again about it. Stuffing a dead boy into a freezer kind of creeps me out. You think? I would imagine so. No, I mean, it's a really good story. And for for any of you guys that were in here last night, one of the things that I noticed about it was that what's even what makes it even more interesting is the fact that um, it's so similar to Ryan Ferguson's story or, and the guy that, you know, named him as, you know, part of this setup or whatever. It's the exact same story. Where, you know, the one that set Ryan up had a dream and he remembered doing this in the dream. That's exactly what the innocent man is. Like, exactly. And I'm like, that's so weird. Like, this guy had to read Grisham's book. So one of the other things I want to discuss tonight, though, is the Bushman thing. Bushman has flown under the radar so much that I don't think anyone realizes he really is the right hand man of um, Kasorik and that Bushman like will do whatever he says, whatever Kasorik says he does. And I found it really, really interesting to show their um, tightness is that the police department got Bushman a canine to track down Gregory Allen. And like two weeks later, it ended up going to Stephen Avery because uh, Bushman had to know that Stephen Avery was the wrong man. Whether Stephen could prove it or not, I don't know. But he had to know that it was the wrong person. It, that's not a coincidence. Hey, Hawaii. Um, it's been around since the hit run. He's been in, like someone said another time, Bushman's been around and involved in every single high profile case. Um, from the top all the way down, from uh, Peterson to Herman to any any high profile thing that happens in Manitowoc, Bushman seems to be involved. Personally, I think it's because Kosorik makes him involved. Is there any record of Kosorik shooting his brother? Not that I can find yet, but if the head of the police department, if it probably wouldn't make the paper, but I honestly feel this woman is not lying. Um, it, sometimes you just have to go with instinct. She's definitely not a troll. 
She is like in her 60s. There was no reason for her to lie about it. And I just truly believe her. Um, I can't tell you why I do. Maybe because I know Kasorik. One of someone in my group had given me the first half. The second half, the woman had told me directly, which she never posted anywhere. The first half, she posted in a group yesterday. And it came to me because I'm not in that group. And I asked her, you know, can you tell me more? And that's when you guys saw the second half. And then we talked about a couple of other things, but there would be no reason for her to lie about it. They are that corrupt, spicy. They truly are. And like at first I thought, oh, she's one of these trolls. You know, she's just a troll that's, you know, trolling around and she's making shit up. And she's got, you know, she's probably a fake profile. So first thing I did before I even talked to her was look at a profile. She's legit. And she's like in her 60s. Um, the news of the shooting, James, came as if you didn't hear it's Yeah, I just said that. Um... Can't comprehend being able to shoot your brother. Um, if you're Kasorik, I can believe it. He's really a piece of garbage. I mean, like, totally. And, I mean, everyone knows, like, anyone in my group, so all you guys know, I've been on Kasorik for days already. So anything on Kasorik, people are sending me. And it's, he's a sick fuck. Like, he really... And, Actually, it's been more than a few days. I've been in Kasorik since I read, uh, keep my hair on my face, since I read Farrick's book. That's when I was on this Kasorik kick. Maybe he was going to say something he didn't want Jim to. It's possible. Scott Peterson was my brother. I'd have no problem shooting him. That's another thing. In um, I know like last night we were joking around about the name Peterson in let in uh innocent man the one of i believe one of the cops is named uh d peterson or something peterson i had a laugh i was like there you go another peterson um let's see if i missed questions Oh, he absolutely is, Eriko's. 110%. Um, but like I even said, like in the video, I can't prove 100% that this lady's not making it up. But I find absolutely no reason where a 60-something-year-old woman would make this up for what purpose when she's not a troll and her profile's totally real and other stuff that I looked at was totally real. There's no reason for me to believe that it's fake. You know, I can be duped, but I'm not duped easily. And it takes a lot to really dupe me. Hey, Amanda. Um, hey, Krista. One thing I also want to discuss, though, which I did not know and really, really pissed me off when I read it is Carla had went around telling everybody that the gun wasn't loaded. The gun was loaded. And Stephen came home and put it under his bed. Um, a I'm sorry, put a loaded gun underneath his kid's bed. That's not good. Um, the, and then he lied to the police about it. So, but you would think like, you know, that's so horrible. But like I said in the video, he's like the dumb cop. I mean, the dumb criminal show who in their right mind if you're gonna really hurt somebody you're certainly not going to um let them get in their own car and then you're gonna follow them to their house where their husband is a cop and let them go in the house that is like the dumbest thing a criminal can do ever and it only goes to show that he wasn't really serious he wasn't gonna do anything or he would have done something so a lot of people use that against Avery and say, oh, you know, that makes him this horrible person. But it doesn't make him a horrible person. It makes him a fucking idiot. 
a total idiot. Because nobody does that if you're going to hurt someone. It's like somebody confessing they're going to commit suicide. And instead of committing suicide, they just talk about it for six years. You know what? If you're going to commit suicide, just do it. You don't talk about it. That was kind of what this reminded me of. Um, uh, I would think there has to be some record. I wonder what the caliber gun was. That I don't know. But the guy lived. I mean, he the brother lived. So, I mean, I wish I had more info on it. Yes, yeah, so, um, I either Manitowoc, Twin Rivers, somewhere around there. I'm assuming. What about brain damage? No brain damage if he's talking to somebody else. I know, right? But it's a huge family. Or even Kay Sakura, who I broke to you guys a couple of videos ago, she's the one that was saying that Tom um, killed uh, Ricky Hosletter. And I knew she was married to somebody, but I didn't realize she was married to Schmidt, who owns the funeral home. Ah, thanks, Barbara. That was very sweet. Uh, but I, I definitely agree, Amanda. It's everybody seems like they're connected, like no joke. Then I saw an ad that uh, Kasorik Automotive in Manitowoc is hiring at like $25 an hour. I'm like, yeah, okay. That has to be fake. Uh, bank robber is done with the perpetrator's personal check and he left it there. Cops caught him real fast. That's what Avery would do. Um, everyone is related and think they're above the law, but you know what? As I've been saying, Kasorik is the puppet master. Everybody falls under him. He is the puppet master. My brain is stuck and trying to go for it. Try to find info. Um, I now feel like an idiot arguing with the guilter that the gun wasn't loaded. Jazzy. So did I, when I saw it tonight, I was mad and I was like, you know what? I cannot believe that we were all so stupid to listen to Carla about the um, gun not being loaded. The gun was fully loaded. So the whole story goes, the entire story goes that Avery, what I just told you, that Avery was driving, um, was following her, and, you know, he put a gun to her, whatever, stopped her. She had a daughter in the car. He then got in his car like behind her or something and was following her. She then said, you know, don't do this with my daughter in the car. Whatever you want, my daughter, um, let me drop my daughter off either, I guess at home. So Steven said, okay, so I'll let you bring your daughter home. I'll follow you and then you'll come with me. So she said, okay, who does that? Not only that though. So then it transpires and she goes in the house. So obviously, he takes off. He then goes home and puts the gun, a loaded gun, under his child's bed and goes, like, I guess, to sleep. Obviously, she told her husband, who's a cop, and he had the cops go to Avery, and Avery denied it at first. And obviously, they're going to believe her over Avery. So he denied it at first. And then after a while, he finally caved in and said, yes, you know, I did it. I didn't, I didn't plan on actually hurting her. That's how that transpired. <laughs> Good job, honey. Yeah, this is on a report. I, I will pull it up. I'll get it. Um, I don't think I kept them. Um, let me see. Uh, here it is. Um, is this it? 
Oh. Oh, wait. I know it was here. Hang on. Uh. All right, here we go. Whoops. I don't know if it's going to take all this. It uh, won't allow me to post it. All right. I will put it up tomorrow unless. Let me see. Whoop. Mm -hmm. um. All right. I will do I'll post it tomorrow, but it's it's in the paperwork. Mr. J Cheapskate here. Um Say my favorite human. No, she thought you were 11. I said you were 12. Um. Now, I'll it's it it is in the paperwork. There's a lot of stuff that um how do I say this? Um it doesn't make Avery look good if I give you the whole thing. That's why I'm kind of shy about giving you the whole thing. There's a lot of stuff in there that doesn't make Avery look good at all. But he definitely did just want to scare her. It's literally the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Because why in the world would you follow her and then say, hey, don't worry about it. Um, you know, yeah, go in your house first. Go call your husband that's a police officer before you come with me. To think that she wouldn't do that just makes him dumb criminal one on one. Um, Karen, it's pretty bad. I'm gonna send it to Marissa, and then Marissa can read it and decide. But it is a lot of it's pretty bad. Um All right, I sent it to Marissa. All right, I'm going to send it to you guys. Here you go. Just don't say I didn't warn you. I sent it. Just don't say I didn't warn you when you don't like it. Because there is a lot of shit. But most of it I just blow off. But that to me was pretty important because I've heard that before. And I believe it's in either Castle. It's in one of the report, the main reports. I don't think it was. Maybe it was in the trial. I don't remember when, but it, it was pretty relevant. You're welcome, Spicy. 
Just don't hate me when you read some of it and be like, wow, I did not know that because people were lying to me. So now you guys all have it for yourself. But you have to look at it later. This is why you can't stop talking. Um, what else? Um, what else did I discuss in the video? Oh, Allie and a couple of other people had asked me and a, a lot of our family members had asked me to go through the Carmen again. There is so much bullshit being spread and it's really starting to get on my nerves because her family doesn't deserve this. Three years ago, two and a half years ago, I did a video about Carmen. Me and Lynn had done a video about the bones of Carmen possibly being, you know, Teresa. But we didn't know the time of the funeral, the you know, how the bones went. There are a lot of rumors like her bones were done like eight days prior or something. like. I don't remember exactly, but there was a whole big thing about Carmen. Well, I did this video and you know, we were the first people to break this. I did this video and John, her brother contacted me probably about two weeks to a month after I did the video, he was very intrigued. <clears throat> and so I believe his information. We spoke to the family. We spoke to his mom. I believe the information that he came from him, me, Lynn and Mike Ryan spoke to him for probably about a year. He was in my uncensored group. We spoke on the phone a lot. You know, he was trying to get as much information that we had out of us, just like we were trying to get as much information as he had out of him. And she lived with her grandmother. She lived upstairs or downstairs. I forgot which one from a grandmother. I believe it was in two rivers. Um, she, her dad worked very hard to pay for a funeral. The cops did not pay for a funeral she did. She was bisexual to a point, but she had this loser ass boyfriend. Lynn or Mike Ryan might remember he was in and out of jail, but they were like inseparable. She never wanted to be without him. She absolutely loved him and her family tried to get her away from him. She wouldn't listen. It was one of those, but they were on and off for years. The courts kept giving her slack. Um, Judge Fox, as a matter of fact, kept giving her slack and, you know, she would get caught with something or get caught for something and they'd let her go. They give her probation. Like, I think they were more trying to get her away from the boyfriend. Um, thanks, Ryan. Talk to you later. Um, and that he it, like she was just trying really hard to get away from him. And the family wanted her away from him, but she was in love with him. And that was her main squeeze. I remember trying to con, I don't remember his name. Lynn might remember, or Mike Ryan might remember, but I remember trying to contact him. I think it was like 10 years and he was out of jail or something. And we, he never wrote back to any of us or we couldn't get a hold of him. My brother gave like the phone number or something. And I don't remember exactly because it was like three years ago. But it, like everything you're hearing about Carmen is not true. I, I would stake my life on this because we've been there. We went this route already almost three years ago. So I just, it, every other rumor that I've heard, whatever. But the stuff of Carmen it almost became personal to us because we did spend so much time talking to her brother and finding out the real facts. So, I mean, I don't know what more I can say on that spread rumors about other people. I, I don't know any of them personally, but Carmen, because when I broke the video, you know, it, it became personal with us because it, her brother was so nice and her mom was so nice. And, you know, they just, they knew nothing. They had no idea that, you know, any of this was going on until my video, like they're not related to Teresa. Um, and it's, it just, it was, it's really heart wrenching to me that these rumors are flying about Carmen when it's done, it's dead. As I said, could it be that the bones was, well, she's not bones though. She's full of ashes. Um, I don't know if Zellner actually asked her for the ashes or if that's a rumor. I have no idea. Um, 
But everyone talks about Carmen's bones. Carmen has no bones. She's ashes in a thing on her mom's shelf. Um, uh, doesn't make your murder. I agree. Commandos for Steven. Um, but he's not a murderer. I agree he's not a murderer. According to prosecution, advocates of any theory we propose is debunked. Every theory we propose is debunked by association. I skip every post regarding CB. No, I, I, it's not to skip it. I mean, it's it's really frustrating to me, though, because it, her brother was so nice and her mom was so nice. And it, it burns me that it, rumors are starting again. Like these rumors were dead. Like let her let them rest. You know, like she's dead. Let it rest there. There's no reason for it. <clears throat> And it just, like I said, it, it just became personal. And I'm sure Lynn and Mike Ryan would feel the exact same way. I heard Avery and Watts. It's not Avery. It's He's in with Brendan, not Avery. So that's false rumor. Um, hey, Phoebe. Sorry, people need to wear underwear. That grossed me out. If you're in jail, you don't want to wear the underwear. Trust me on that one. Um, I still think more is involved here. James, more with what? Um, I don't want to tolerate it for my work crew, and I expect integrity from those I debate here. Um, Joseph, what do you mean? <laughs> Good one, Mama. Carmen Bootwell Falcon? Where's Falcon? Oh, CB is Carmen Bootwell. I was like, where did Falcon come in? Falcon, you know, two hours, it's your birthday. Me and Miss and me and uh, uh Marissa have not forgotten. Audra, um, the brother said that it's ashes, though. Now, did I ever ask him, was it little tiny bones? No, I never asked. Um, but the if I'm not mistaken, the Avery property bones were found what time? I don't remember. Does anyone know what time they found Avery? the bones on Avery property. No, but I've wanted to for years. No, but it's, it's after two. Okay. I think it, no, I know it was November 8th. I have to be respectful of my criticism and not address them specifically in one bird. Check group member. Joseph, I'm not quite getting what you're saying. Tell Marissa and Marissa can relay it privately or Allie or somebody. I'm not getting it. I don't know if it's meant towards me, someone in here, somewhere else. Um, so um, the bones were definitely found on the 8th. Carmen's funeral or the 7th. No, the bones are found on the 7th. Right? Now I'm all confused. Car was found on the 5th. The bones were... The key was found on... Was it the 7th or the 8th? No, the 9th was too late, I believe. I think it was the 8th. The 8th. That's what I thought. So the bones are found on the 8th. <clears throat> Carmen's funeral was at 11. They found the bones at 2. Carmen's funeral wasn't 11. Carmen's funeral was at one. Then they drove to wherever, but they followed the body. Like the, the timing of it, the body was with, um, what you call it? The body was with the parents, you know, and the brother, the, the mom and the brother, not the, 
or maybe both parents, but I never spoke to the dad. We only spoke to the mom. Um, but it, the timing just didn't add up because she was being cremated afterwards and the service was like from one to three. It was something like that. We were like, then they can't be her. I know for real, Valerie. Comments funeral was that yeah, I just addressed that. It definitely wasn't eleven. It was in the afternoon. And I think they even saw the body again at like four. Don't quote me on that. I just I remember that somewhat. Some gal says they did pay for being cremated. Bushman wife owns. Yeah, but she did. That wasn't the funeral home that she was at. She got uh, cremated at Pfeiffer, which has nothing to do with Schmidt and has nothing to do with Bushman. Did they ever say what drug? Yeah, her brother said that it was um, methadone. <clears throat> um, we should have a test. What test? Oh, you mean like a, you know, answer question test? Um, 11, nine. No, it was 11, eight. It wasn't the ninth. It was the eighth. Bones are found on the ninth. No, bones are found on the eighth. The key was found on the 7th. The bones were found on the 8th. I'm almost positive. Allie, where are you when I need you? Where'd you get methadone? Who knows? Um, thank you, Phoebe. So this is like a big fight. Who was on the 8th? Who's on the 9th? Some of us say it was the 8th. Some say it's the ninth. I'm pretty sure it was the 8th. Uh, the 8th, yes. Thank you. I know I wasn't crazy. I'm like, I definitely know it wasn't the ninth. Bones are found on the 8th. Thank you. Um... DNA identified the bones on the 9th. Okay, I believe that. Avery was arrested on the 9th. Yes. There's a pretty intense timeline on Reddit from this Mix Moxie or somebody. Um, I don't know who she is, but she has some pretty good theories. But she has like an exact timeline of November 7th. Like this entire timeline of how like... Every detail, I'm not even sure where she got it from. I have a feeling it's Mix Jinx. I think that's her name, or Jinxy Mick, Minx under a different name because she's just as in detail as her. So I think it might be her. Methadone isn't a drug to party with. Used for drug addiction is carefully monitored. You know, but my theory, my theory though, is that, um, it's possible the ID of the bones on the ninth. Really, how is that possible? Yeah, and Teresa had her death certificate on the tenth. Um, my theory though, you're a pothead. You drink. You smoke pot. You're a downer. You're gonna eventually do methadone pills, all that stuff. Now, mind you, it was two thousand and five, so pills weren't pills were pretty big then. Not as big as they are now, but. You know, maybe her friend that was over had methadone. I don't know. <clears throat> uh, people that defend the integrity of the essay investigation do not use logic to defend their opinions. The few that speak in complete sentences evade answering any. Oh, you mean guilters? Oh, I agree with that, Joseph. Had to have been. I know nothing about methadone. I was never a downer. I don't like downers. On the ninth, they were identified. Yep. I small. Marissa, you're not a guilter, so it doesn't matter. Um. Oh, you found it already? That was pretty good, Phoebe. 
Uh, it's just as easy to get your hands on methadone as painkillers, suboxone, and heroin, easily abused. I agree. Now, in all fairness, though, um, her brother could have been lying, you know, to protect his sister, and I'm okay with that. I don't, I don't need to know exactly what drug she was on. So if he was lying about it, so be it. It it doesn't change anything. It doesn't change, you know, it, it may just protect her, and I'm totally okay with that. It's supposed to be carefully dispensed, but you can get it. You can get methadone and pills. I mean, you can get it. Now, uh, Paul, he was arrested on the 9th. Now, but like I'm saying, like Omega said, you can get it if you go to a clinic. She could have been on heroin. I have no idea. But the fact that her brother told me it was, you know, methadone, I'll buy it. I'll believe it. I wouldn't want anyone to know my 22-year-old sister OD'd on heroin. Maybe he was just protecting her. That's true, too. If you get time, let's... Uh... Christine, we were just talking about that. Um, can't... Get done on methadone. It's sparsed every day out of a clinic. Yeah, but you can get it. Isn't doesn't methadone come in pills too? I mean, a drug addict can get anything anywhere. Um It does come in pills. That's what I thought. And then you have like Suboxone or something. Um, Pedro, I don't know what that language is, but I'm going to go with it. Um, yeah, I thought you can get it in pills. I believe that, Marissa. Oh. I definitely believe that. Just a weird drug to want to try a good high from. Yeah, so I've heard. It's just a downer, though. A lot of people do methadone if they can't get anything else. I want to know if Mike O drove a white Jeep or a Kelly Pitson. Um, as far as I know, neither one of them did. And Barbara's the mortgage lady, Stella, something, get her loans through the bank. It wasn't Barb. It was um, Scott who got the loans, not Barb. Mark Hillegas was involved in some fraudulent loan deals. Um, Ryan Hillegas' brother, I know nothing about that, but that's interesting. But no, it was Scott, not Barb. Um. It's true. Oh. Sorry, man. If Barb and Scott was supposed to be... I don't know. That's actually the first time I've heard that, Sam. I haven't heard that before about Mark Hillegas. Well, that's kind of like what they say about Adderall. That if, you know, Adderall will make you fly off the walls unless you actually have ADHD, then it really doesn't do much. So I guess it's kind of like same thing. So there was an autopsy on Carmen. Um, did she have alcohol? In her? There was no alcohol. It could have been a cocktail. Um, I, I want to say that I, I can remember there was an autopsy, but I can't. Um, I, I don't remember that much. I do remember it's just very frustrating that people keep talking about Carmen and if what they're saying is wrong. Um, you can't get high on methadone. You can get high on methadone. Are you kidding me? Yeah, you can. They gave me methadone when I was in my car accident. I was high as a kite. I told them to stop giving it to me because it was making me sick. 
Um, it's pain medication that happens to help addicts clean up. Yes, you absolutely can. I agree. I read where the coroner Deb was pulled off the case, Carmen, as she was in the Avery case. Christine, I have never heard that. I have never found that out from um, her brother. That information I've heard recently, I have not been able to verify it. I don't think it's true. Um, I'm almost 100% positive it's not true, but I can't say 100% yet. But Christine, if you came in later, you're not familiar. I covered uh, Carmen three years ago with the same information you're hearing now. Then her brother contacted me and we spoke for about a year and gave me all the real information. And the real information didn't totally match up with the old information. Um, and so I dropped it. I, um, it. I dropped the whole thing because out of respect for her and her family. But it, it, believe me, I'm not trying to cover up anything, but a lot of what you're hearing is not true when it comes to Carmen. I don't know about the other stuff, but I know about Carmen. Can they really identify bones in a 24-hour period? I don't believe so. Um, you can earn carries up to two weeks. It comes in both juice and pill form. I don't know. I know that I got it at the hospital, and I begged them to stop giving it to me because I was getting sick. But I was high as a kite. Uh, it's not his birthday yet. He's got an hour and a half. Or even a half hour in Eastern time. But he's on California time. Um... I won't be awake in an hour. DNA takes, no, DNA takes longer than that. You hear about, well, maybe if they rush it. But I know that you hear about all these stories that it's not. It's Falcon's birthday already in the UK. There you go, Falcon. He's been pretty quiet. He's not saying anything. Um, But I do know that um, what you call it? I do know that they had, um, like announced her dead on the 10th. So they found the bones on the 7th. They got all the testing back and was able to pronounce her dead on the 10th. Like that just didn't see, that was way too fast. Um, trauma in Chicago never ends. That is so true, Amanda. Um, uh, where is Falcon? He's not saying anything. Oh, there he is. I just saw him. Falcon's our favorite guilter. Um, I can remove the gloves when the mods and approve me. To speak uncensored. Joseph, you're always allowed to speak uncensored. Till then, I won't be baited into getting put in timeout. Who put you in timeout? Um, were you on ice beside in stream? Who's that? All right, Phoebe and. Um, Phoebe and Marissa, although Marissa hasn't said a word lately, you guys cannot put Joseph in timeout. I don't know what he's dying to say, but go for it. <clears throat> oh, there she is. Unless they need to be blocked. Joe, when did Marissa or Phoebe put you in timeout in my room? Um... <clears throat> Falcon is the other side. He's like our favorite guilter, but he's still part of our family. Him and Marissa fight like a married couple. You can speedball with methadone. Methadone is an opioid, opiate blocker. 
I threaten him all the time. Rarely ever do it. Joseph, feel free. Come on. My my group on Facebook is not named Uncensored for no reason. Wrenches warn me frequently. No, they don't. <laughs> They're going to Vegas and getting married. Um, I believe it was Stephen Avery, much as the prosecution laid out. Uh, he's moving to Canada, getting free health care. <laughs> Falcon, she's got a good point. Can we give Falcon a break and a happy birthday today? Uh, yeah, but I think he's taking you seriously, Marissa. Joseph, seriously, though, feel free to speak. I don't ever want anyone to feel like they can't speak their mind unless they're like an obvious troll. But, I mean, Phoebe's been in my other group for a long time. So is Marissa, my Facebook group. I rarely censor anybody. I don't kick anyone out unless you're a complete idiot. And I know you're not a complete idiot. That's what I say, Jazzy. Two completely different stories. <laughs> there you go, Joseph. She's giving you time out. Um, supposed to be out drinking with friends, but they had to cancel. Uh, Falcon, you could drink with me because I'm your friend. Mary Poppins. Whoops. Uh-oh, I just dropped fluffing out his ham. See, raise cheers. Fluffinato's hiding in his bed. He's so cute. He gets all cuddly and crawls under the blankets. You meant to be here with us, Falcon. That's what I said. He was meant to be here. Moscato cheers. That's right. We know you want to spend your birthday with Laura. He did, Shauna. He did. He doesn't want to admit it, but it's true. Um, I worked in a prison. We have high-profile DNA samples back in 24 hours. Then how come on all the cop shows, they always say, you know, oh, it takes X amount of time? Naz Q's your pup? I don't know about that, Jill. He just heard me say that and he popped up. Talk about spending New Year's Eve together too. That's right. That's right, Falcon. Hey, what happened to the girl? What happened to the girlfriend? That's done? Mm -hmm. Thank you, great daughter of mine. Mm -hmm. How's the chicken? I haven't tasted it. Look, I don't know why I'm not smelling it. I hope I didn't forget to turn the oven on. It's on. Oh, it is on? Uh, you saw a piece... What? Well, no, I didn't think so. Um, I'll be Joseph Falcon. You need to have proof that can be verified in a lab. Uh, happy almost birthday. <laughs> What's up? <clears throat> I think I spent my birthday watching this channel too. Yes. That's awesome. I'm going to spend my birthday with you guys. It's coming up soon. Uh, thanks, Spicy. My birthday was on chat as well. See, there you go, Val. What are you doing, Fluffer? Got to get you past 5,000. I know, and it's been dead for like two days. I'm like, ouch. My birthday is January 4th, and I'm not going to say how old I'm going to be. Oh, my God, you're only 25, Adrian. I'm so jealous. I'm so jealous. 
Tomorrow my pool team will have a cake and sing and all that. Pool like swimming or pool like pool like pool hall. Thanks, spicy. I am. I'm gonna be 48. 48. What? 48. 48. My daughter just screamed it too. Wait, someone younger than me. Yeah, she is younger than you. <laughs> Adrian, I was about to get jealous. That's your friend on what, January 4th? It's a great day for a birthday. Really, Falcon? See, Falcon, we have so much in common. <laughs> That's my mom's birthday, and I'm way older than you. So we got a lot of mom's birthdays on the 4th. And I bet you guys love your moms because January 4th is a wonderful day to be born. Fluffinetta Butter's birthday is January 7th. He turns one. I know she did bust me out. Um, uh, Linda's going on a cruise. Fourth, I don't think I'll be able to get you on the ship. <laughs> July 15th. Except he's my hubby and you're my future wife. I'll be 47 in April. I'm going to be 55 and I'm just waiting on that senior discount. Uh, I was 25 years old for about 10 years. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting there. I'm like 35 for the last, I don't know, 10 years. Seven years, eight years. I keep saying I'm 35. Um, see, that's how my kids say it. My mom is cool as shit, but don't cross her. Jill, how old are you? I'm going to say I'm going to grow up one day. Aren't we all? My old boss turned 55 and we were like, now you can get senior discounts. But I'm like creeping right up there too. I can't even believe I'm going to be 48. I'll be 37 February 12th, hiking up to 40 real quick. Yeah, once you hit 40, it's like it's over. It's just over. Good for you, Jill. Going to San Francisco at the end of the month. Um, when I went to San Francisco, it was many years ago, but I said I wanted to go to the O'Farrell Theater just to see what it's about. I don't even know if it's still around, but it was a very interesting place. I'll leave it at that. Um, but things have changed when it, since I went there. Like Fisherman's Wharf used to be all outside, like lobster, shrimp, everything all outside. And then now friends of mine went recently and said it's totally different now. Like it's just restaurant after restaurant. Uh, how many significant details of BOD 1031.05 schedule? Uh, once you have 40, you start subtracting years instead of adding. I agree. And they always say like 50s is the new 40s. 40s is the new 30s. And I've been saying I'm 35 forever. That was before I had children. So that's why I'm just 35. Um, I was going to do law school, Karen, and I kept saying I'm too old. I'm too old. I should have done it. Um... Doing a live on YouTube. See, so you want to know how I'm old? One of my friends, who's not like a making a murderer person, says, hey, chicka, what are you doing so late? You're usually sleeping by now. See what a loser my friends think I am? Sleeping by 1030. I'm not that bad. I was going to be a lawyer right after three years ago. And I said, I'm going to go to, I already have my master's. I already have my undergrad. All I need to do is go to law school. And I just didn't do it. And now I'm like, well, now I'm going to be 48. Am I really going to do it now? Plus I'm in debt up to my ass in student loans. I owe out like 95 grand that I just keep, you know, keeping up on, but I don't know. 
I keep saying I'm going to, but I never do. I know I could still, but I don't know. I just don't know if if I want to. Like I I, I don't know. I mean I want to, but let's say by the time I graduated, I would be 51. And then I would be in even more debt. And then I would have to go to school with all these kids that are like fresh out of high school. And I, I don't know. I just don't know. <clears throat> Thanks, Phoebe. And honestly, I know I would make a good lawyer. I, I really do. But I just don't. I don't know. Let me invite my friend because she just keeps talking. Hold on. Um, where are you? Um, but I just, I just don't know. You've got to scrape, you know, Karen, I have contacted so many people to interview. Nobody's getting back to me. I'm getting really frustrated. I'm like, you know what? I, I, I want to do more interviews and nobody's answering. I'm like, and I've contacted a lot of different people. I'm like, maybe I need to change my route. Maybe I need to hit up different kinds of people. I don't know, but nobody's nobody's listening. Um, Casey is 61. Yeah, I know I can do it. I, I just, I don't want to have to go through law school. I don't want to do the bar exam. I'd love you to get the, I have, Jazzy, I contacted Damien. He never answered me back. And I was like, you know what? He seems like a super nice guy. I'm going to name drop and hopefully he'll answer. Never answered my email. I was like, oh, well. Maybe some experts in the case would agree to interview. I don't know. Like we would, me and Marissa were joking around earlier. I said, maybe like Kratz will go for money and I'll, you know, hey, Kratz, uh, you know, we'll do like a raise money for to get Kratz on the show kind of thing. Um, I actually, I contacted Grease back today because there's a lot of things, and this is going into part two video tomorrow, but there's a lot of things in his original book about the 85 case that he really like burns this whole crew, you know, Kosorik and Bushman and, you know, how fucked up it was and how corrupt it was. And I really want to ask him at a really down to earth level, like, so if you believe that this, that if you know they did all this, why do you think they wouldn't do it again? Like, I think it would make a great interview. He hasn't answered either. Um, I contacted through Twitter and through Facebook and through email. That's what I'm doing for all of them. If I could find an email. Thanks, Karen. You know, Jazzy, I thought of it, but I was giving him like a, I'm going to give him, I gave him a couple of days and then I was like, you know, it says on his Facebook, you know, answers in a few days. I'm like, maybe he didn't get my email. So he got my Facebook and never answered. I'm like, whatever, people. Um, we could probably pay him 200 bucks to do the show. Uh, Wisconsin, you don't have to take the bar. Linda, I thought of that too, but I would not work in that state. That state is so damn corrupt. But Jazzy, I'll try it. I mean, I really would like to. I would interview any of them. I'd even interview the father. You know who I mean? The father of one of the kids who like changed his whole tune from like the beginning movie to the end. You know, I and I have. I've I've tried it like sending out messages to so many different people and they're not responding. And I'm like, maybe they didn't get my email, so I'll write them again. Hey, do a drink. Believe me, I have tried with Ken Kratz forever. Like, literally, I found messages I sent him on Twitter in 2016. The man will not contact me. And we know Leah won't. <clears throat> um, but wouldn't want him to get the money. <laughs> Jazzy, I would love to interview him. And, not, and I wouldn't be a dick either. Like, I would be totally cool, totally professional, um, 
I know in three days he's going on that talk show, whatever that they want. You know, they said they'll have call-ins. That's also the anniversary, four year anniversary of my dad's death. So I don't know how calm I can be, but I'm going to try and call in. I'm going to try to talk to him there and I'm going to record it, but at least, you know, it'll be something. Um, I live in Minnesota to Wisconsin. Don't scare me. All that bad man. I agree. Probably pay him a cheap sweater hooker and a candy bar. That might work. Oh, Sean, I believe me. I've, it's Ken seven two three Ken. I believe you shower after that. That's true. Um, I will stip that Bod is not a credible witness. We knew that. I live in Wisconsin, and the corruption is far beyond. Yeah, David, that is true because you look at that one in Kenoa. Kenosha, I did a video on it. I think it was Kenosha where the Supreme Court said the entire uh, police department is corrupt and should not even like do anything. I saw that. That was pretty crazy. <clears throat> he might start texting you. That's a good point. We will on the showers after that. You know, I, I thought about it though. I'm like, you know what? Hearing his voice might make me laugh. Like, I don't even know how serious I can get with him on the other end talking the way he talks. I don't know how serious I could be. Like, I may just laugh at him. Uh, drive to Wisconsin, get pulled over for a ticket to stay on a murder case for you. Did you guys see the interview? That Christabel, that's what I was just thinking about. Jen, I couldn't think of her name. Jenna, Jenna something. But yeah, I agree. I was hysterical. I, I just don't know if I can handle his voice. I probably like crack up. I know. And that's the other thing. I don't know what becomes harassing or, you know, like how many times do you contact them? Do I try to find phone numbers and call them? Like, I don't know. I figure if I start with a new selfie saying, join me for an interview. <laughs> My luck would be the wrong guy. I'd send it to like the wrong Ken Kratz or something. Um, but, you know, Linda, I do agree with that. I'm just, I don't know. I don't want to harass them. Um, I even contacted, uh, what's his name? Um, Buting. Never wrote me back either, which, I mean, I call him dumb and dumber. I don't expect them to. But it was worth a shot. Um, I don't know if the experts would though. I mean, it can hurt to try. It, it definitely can hurt to try. Um, I just, I don't know. I can't see them doing it for free. You know, like I'm trying, like Farek was doing a book. He was promoting a book. Um, oh, by the way, speaking of Farek, were any of you guys in, um, his interview last night? with uh Jax West from Stephen Avery Project. Were any of you guys there? Steve's ex fiance. Who Sandra Greenman? I wouldn't even know what to say to her. She don't like me either. It wasn't him. It was what I heard secondhand and I feel horrible and I'm so glad you guys were not like did not do this, but it seems that like a lot of her viewers were complaining, were putting him down, were telling, you know, saying he talks too long and she was really embarrassed and she should be embarrassed, you know, but it just, I was like, you know what? He was so great on my show. Like we had such a great time. He's coming back, you know, after Zellner files and it just it really like I meant to ask him about it today, but I was just wondering if anyone was there to know exactly what went on because she heard it third hand. It was very rude. Um, can I argue both sides of a case? Absolutely. I can argue both sides. You want me to tell you all the reasons Stephen Avery's guilty? I could go. Th I could make you believe I think he's guilty or I can make you believe he's innocent. Oh, Paul, good. You did see it. What what happened? Like, what were they doing and why? Because like I said, I heard it firsthand. Get Jody to interview. I'll tell her I'll send her a six pack. <laughs> um, 
Don't get me started on Nicole with a GoFundMe. Hang on. I want to, before I talk about Chris Watts, I want to hear this other thing from Paul. Thanks, Karen. I can't argue anything. I had no idea Nicole started a GoFundMe. They're going to pop up everywhere. They always do. Look at Carla. She, she probably took pointers. Um, Jax looks pissed. Her eyes were mostly on the charts. Um, Jazzy, no, we're talking about Chris Watts case with the GoFundMe. So Nicole started a GoFundMe for who though? For the parents? Chats. Um, yeah, this is two different conversations. Let me go into Paul. Let me finish Paul first since I asked about it. So Paul, um, she was, they were bashing, um, for wreck. I don't understand why they were bashing him though. I mean, he's a wonderful guy and he didn't have to go on there. He went on there for them. I, I knew what he meant for charts. So I don't like Jack. So to me, it's karma. She got what she deserved. I'm glad she was embarrassed. But at the same time, Forex a great guy, and I wouldn't want him embarrassed. And I think anybody like going after him when he agreed to go on, you know, her group is fucked up. Um. So now, I screenshot one. Oh, please send. Jax bought, took over, well, she actually paid for the Stephen Avery Project page online. She paid a couple of hundred bucks for it from, what's his name? From the young kid. I forgot his, I want to say Chad, but it's not his name. Um, anyone remember his name? Um, he took off and sold the site to Jax, who turned out to just, she's not a good person. But, I mean, she she was trying to do the right thing. So I think it's horrible that, you know, S Stephen Avery supporters were just totally putting down Farek. I mean, it makes me think maybe they were guilters that were there. I don't know. Thank you, Jazzy. And that's what I'm saying. Like, I, I she shouldn't have had to tell them to shut up. Like, who does that? Like, you know, he wasn't getting paid. He's not there to take abuse. He did her a favor, you know, like he did her, you know, her community or whatever, or followers, whatever, a favor. So to me, it's just disgusting that they would like bash him. Um, interview Avery's attorney. Who Zellner? Zellner hasn't answered me either. Uh, that's exactly right, mama. That's exactly right. She was visibly pissed. I don't blame her. But, you know, I hate to say it, but it, it, maybe it's just her followers, people that follow her. But that's like the lowest low life thing you could do. It's totally disrespectful. Like, even if you don't like somebody, he's still not getting paid. You know, it's not like she's paying him to be there. Like, well, I, I mean, I didn't pay him. I don't know if she is, but I didn't have to pay him. And it, it's just wrong. Like, he's there promoting a book. If you don't like him, fine. Just keep your mouth shut. Jax runs the um, the Stephen Avery project online, the page. Um, so, Kim, Nicole is doing a GoFundMe for Nicole? Under what premise? I don't follow the case anymore. But if you didn't hear me in the beginning... Um, Go Lightly's wife swap show was absolutely the funniest thing I've seen in a long time. Um, should she have cut? I didn't see it, Amanda. I don't know. Paul, do you think she should have cut it? Lucky people, more respectful. I agree, Linda. 
I, you know, ever since I started doing videos, though, even with my bad mouth, even with my cursing, even with my craziness and my bad cameras and my bad hair, the people that watch my videos for the most part have been absolutely classy, fantastic, um, upper class people. They're not morons, you know, and I've noticed this and I've seen other YouTubers and I won't name any names that really got like, I don't understand a lot of their subscribers. Like people are so stupid. Um, and it was like, I got a much better class and I don't mean Ericos by any which way, shape or form. Um, Ericos wasn't even doing videos in the beginning, but you know, I noticed that people that liked me, even with my bad mouth, were just a much higher class of people. And it's still that way today. Um, these people that were getting, were putting them down, getting all pissy about those respect. Oh, that's a good point. <clears throat> uh, so Paul, since you're the only one there, you're going to be, uh, the one getting questions, but it says, uh, were these people that were putting them down, getting all pissy about those who suspect Bobby and Scott? I'm not here for the look, but the voice, there you go, Kevin. They bashed Farek in an interview that Jax was doing. So I something about it today. I'm trying to find it. The state is helping her as a victim, supposedly. How the hell is Nicole a victim? I'm trying to find the post so I can show you on Nicole. That is horrible. That's the only thing I could think of why anyone would be against what he writes in the book. It's horrible. Like he, they, he was doing an interview. There was no reason for it. Um, can I get a rehab? Just got here. Recap of what, Brady? There's a lot to recap. Um, Paul, was that yes to what um, Christabel said? Is that what the yes was? That it's the same people that were bashing Bobby, you know, that thought that Bobby could be the murderer? Um... Nicole is from the, we're combining two cases. Nicole's was the best friend in the Chris Watts case that, you know, miraculously knew that she missed her doctor's appointment and went over to the house and found her and called the police. That's who Nicole is. Thank you, Paul. So Christabel, he's, Paul said that, yes, um, it's the same people that are bashing the Bobby and Scott theory. Oh, oh, I just think it's horrible. And Mr. Wayne's why I posted the link to the Stephen Avery case website, which is decidedly guilt or in its view. It is, but it links. There were other stuff that I found. The one thing I found was about the loaded gun. It's not the first time I've heard that. I do remember seeing it in an actual police report. I just can't remember where, and I'm not searching through file after file after file after file to find it. But it's not the first time I heard that. You want to say real and you have faults like every other. Who has faults? I have faults. <laughs> um, even does this why I live. You know, filters, balls to the wall, and that's the way it goes. That's exactly right. Hey, Bluebird. Thank you, Amanda. I have been saying the exact same thing. Oh my God. Finally, someone is just like me. Amanda, you're now my new best friend. The second he went to court and pleaded guilty for all nine charges, I completely lost interest. I don't know why everybody's losing their mind trying to connect Nicole to the K. Who cares? It's over. Nothing more can happen. I am so Amanda, you're now my new best friend because I said the exact same thing. And nobody else I know has said that. Everyone wants to know and be more involved. I'm like, there is nothing to be involved in. It's done. It's over. But every once in a while, like she said, Nicole started to go fund me. Yeah, that I'm curious about. That's interesting. Um, off topic, but I really wish you the best on the YouTube channel. I love your personality. And I think you'll be very successful building in a large following. Brady, are you coming and leaving already? Did you watch the other video? 
He caved because the neighbor's camera caught him. Um, thank you, guys. I didn't ditch you, Marissa. Um, I'm going to watch now. Oh, yeah, go watch the other video because we were talking about it. See, that's the thing. That's the hard thing, though, about... Um, about uh, um, doing a live after a premiere because then people that come in late, they don't know what's been discussed, what happened or anything. So it does get hard. <clears throat> oh, Marissa. <laughs> well, you're not interested in a case either. So we could all be besties together. Um, Go lightly is rude to anyone who has a different opinion. No, but dude, you got to watch her on Wife Swap. She is hysterical. I mean, I don't watch her about the Chris Watts case because I don't care about the Chris Watts case anymore. But you have to see her Wife Swap. It is so funny. She is such a Jersey New Yorker. It's hysterical. Um, and th by the way, Brady, thank you for that. Uh, where did I miss? Uh, the groupies are insane. There are people still, I don't know how anyone ever thought Shanann killed the girls ever. It was such a stupid theory. I missed it too. Toodles. You guys didn't see the other video, the one I premiered. Oh, it's big. Oh, stupid who pleads to all that. Like, by Felicia. Exactly. There are three Nicoles. Um, maybe soulmates. <laughs> um, what you call it? Um, uh, what was I just going to say? Um, oh, I think Nicole Kissinger. Um, not the friend, the the mistress started a GoFundMe. But I'm not sure it's real. Um I I know there was one, there was a website like give Nicole support or something, but it was so dumb. I was like, this is so not real. Nicole the girlfriend getting victim assistance. Um from her searches, she wasn't exactly a victim. Um, I thought that was Marissa. Um, I watch live chats back when that chick wanted to marry SA. Oh, Lynn, <laughs> yeah, they were supposed to marry in my backyard. She did get fired. Um, the good old days with my bad camera. Victim assisted, like, what is that in general? Or why is Chris Watts' girlfriend getting it? Because she's playing a victim. I don't know how she was a victim. But, I mean, think about it, though. I, in all fairness, if you're not a strong person and you're a very weak person, and believe me, anyone that's on Facebook has or in Chris Watts groups has seen these weak people that I'm talking about that don't have a clue. Maybe she was one of those. And she, I mean, he basically said that he did this, you know, to be with her. And that's how the whole thing has been projected that it's a, you know, he did this. So we can live a single life. So if she's like a dumb person to begin with, maybe that like weight on her. I mean, she is young, but maybe that like weight on her and she doesn't know how to deal with that. Like, what if the next guy does it? You never know. So I can see why she might be in therapy in that respect. How is she victimized? This part is interesting. If true, that's what I'm just saying, though. It, she wasn't a victim like... For anyone that's got a half a brain, she wasn't a victim. She was a fucking mistress. She was sleeping with a married man. You know what? You don't want to play with, you don't want to get burned. Don't play with fire.
But I, if she was a weak minded person or just not the brightest person, then, you know, knowing mentally that, oh my God, this guy killed his daughters for me. This guy killed his kids for me, his wife for me, you know, now he's in jail for the rest of his life. I can see where a weak minded person could be traumatized by that. But that's just in it. I don't know if she's smart, if she's dumb. I have no idea. I mean, she was sleeping with a married man from her searches. I kind of think she was pretty dumb, but who knows? She did get fired. Well, she should be fired. Don't sleep with married men. I can understand him pleading guilty to a light of sentence, but it doesn't seem like that. No, he pleaded guilty to all charges. Done. All of them. Not even tried it. The DA said that they were not going to knock him down. They weren't going to do it. They were, you know, if he wants to plead to this, the only thing they will do is take death off the table. But I would want to die. I would not want to spend the rest of my life in prison at 30 years old. I saw her on wife swap. Oh, that was four years ago. I didn't know when it was. He admitted his guilt to his father during interrogation. He's just gross. He's going to get his butt buddy in jail. Um, yeah, he's just, he was just a coward. What's up, Repo Ace? That's a new name. I like seeing new people, new faces. Um, new faces are good, especially since it's like day three in a row. Um, I'm in Detroit, Detroit, Michigan. I stopped following the Watts case after he played guilty to each count. That's what most of that's what a lot of us are saying. Out stealing cars. All right. Check inbox Twitter. Uh, there we go. Man, Jax looks scary. Wow. What? Um, Paul, that's horrible. I wonder how long he stayed. But like I said, I'm not a Jax fan. Um, uh, yeah, she did Hawaii and they gave it to her. Oh, I missed the Steve one. Yo, I missed what's up, Brad Hill from North Carolina. Surprised my cat hasn't sent messages. Um, I think she's trying to make money off of, oh, I'm sure she is trying to make money off of all of it. Bebo, if you find a nice Mercedes, let me know. You could drive it my way. Yeah. Good night, Spicy. Or a vet. I'll take a brand new Corvette, too. She feels because she banged a murderer, she's a victim. No, I'm telling you why she's a victim. Right now, we're talking about Chris Watts. But if you have not watched the video that I premiered before this live, you need to go watch it. Hey, Janelle. So I'm going to say that again. It's big news in the video that I premiered before this live. So if you guys have not seen it yet, you want to go check it out. If you said that I was going to say this two years ago, I could have gotten you on cheap as hell. Yeah, right now we're discussing the Watts guy. 
But everyone like keeps pulling up all these other cases. I'm like, it's kind of reminds me of making a murderer because there's not going to be a case like Watts. And even if there is, they're, they're not going to roll over and plead to all nine counts. No problem. Like that never happens. Like who does that? That was probably like his dumbest move ever. I was watching it when this vid came up. <sighs> Uh, my brother-in-law had two when he died and they sold for five grand. Damn. Okay. Going to watch. Hopefully he's still alive once I'm done. Yeah. It's, it's only about a 20 minute video. She went into Watts house. She was my ex did that. My, the one, my ex was cheating on me with. She did that. She slept in my bed and everything. What are you vaping? I am vaping my favorite juice in the whole wide world. Oh, that was a good picture. Um, <laughs> Karen Falcon and Joseph are having their own like fight. I'm just letting them go at it, not saying a word. Um, I wonder what the next case. Well, there is another one that people are talking about. I haven't gotten too into it yet. Oh, believe me, Mama, I know. Um. Uh, CW commits suicide. I thought that too, but I don't know. Every time you vape, I need to smoke. Um, uh, oh, oh. There was an, there's another case, Kelsey something. That's it. Thank you, Phoebe. Phoebe is like right on this. Um, thanks, mom. We need night fight. Nice. <laughs> I'm just letting you two go at it. I'm not getting involved. Um, Kelsey Bereth. Everyone is like beginning to talk about it because maybe because it's in Colorado. I don't know that much about it. It it doesn't seem that exciting to me. It sounds like a typical husband killed wife can't find her. Um, but I might be wrong. I like literally haven't looked too much into it to give a definitive. Good night, Paul. Thanks for stopping by. Don't forget, I'm going to do this. Tomorrow, the rest of the week, though, are going to be earlier. I have to do it earlier because I can't keep being late for work. And every morning I'm like late for work. We'll run out of the streets with buckets when it rains beer. I wish it would rain beer. <clears throat> and I go out buckets and sell it. So does anyone know about the Kelsey Barreth case? More than like the beginning and like what I just said. But yeah, I have to go earlier. I, I can't keep being late for work. But I was going later because like I put the kids to bed and, you know, I feed them dinner and everything else. But I, I just can't do it. Um, Let's talk about Mr. Untouchable and his moon shadow. Uh, Kasorik? Kratz? I feel like they're all untouchable. Yeah, for everyone leaving, make sure you hit the thumbs up on your way out. And if you're not a subscriber, make sure you hit subscribe. I uh, never heard of her. Yeah, it's a new, it's fairly new case out of Colorado. I think it's Denver. I want to say Denver, but I'm not sure. And she disappeared on Thanksgiving. Her mom didn't call it in till December 2nd or something. Um, and like they believe the fiance did it. Fiance. Thanks, Looney. Fiance seems to be like a little over the top um, and like pretty narcissistic. So they think he's guilty. Um, but I mean, honestly, there's a lot of husbands that kill their wives. It Just because you're young and pretty doesn't mean your husband didn't kill you like I'm so picky about what cases I really want to explore. And from what I understand, that's not really one of them yet. But I haven't looked too into it. Is this a missing woman who texted days after reported missing? I don't believe so. Um, Phoebe might know. Phoebe, is Kelsey, was there texting after reported, after she was reported missing? Yeah, Mr. Steve, it's a very recent case. Oscar Piscatori. Why do I know that name about Piscatoris? 
Oh, you know what? Piscatorus, that was on uh, Orange is the New Black. That's where, why that name is familiar. Um, so many Christmas murders, I know. I'm just a news channel. I thought it was making a murderer. Holly, it is making a murderer. But we right now, it's the 12 days of Christmas, so we're doing other things. But if you haven't seen the video that I premiered right before this, you need to go watch it. Um... So, yeah, I guess it is about that case. Piscatella. Thanks, Mom. I, that's just what it reminded me of. Kelsey Bereth. Yeah, so she had a text days after she was reported missing. I always get lost in the Johnny Gosh case. I don't know that case either. Did anyone watch, and I always talk about, did anyone follow the Nora Jackson case from years ago? To this day, she was my favorite case ever. Um, no, I don't know that case, Phoebe. I I loved her. I followed. She was my first true crime case, and I followed. I have yet to find a case that intrigued me like that one. And Chris Watts did, but it, he pleaded guilty. Who claims it was an accident? Um, I love that you're doing this 12 days of Christmas. It reminds me people there are more cases than SA. Exactly. Nora Jackson was this girl. She was young. She was very pretty. It she got out recently under an Alfred plea, but they her dad was murdered and then her mom, she was with her mom and you know, she had a typical teenage relationship with a mom, but her mom was murdered and they nailed it on her and she did like 10 years in jail. Um, Nora Jackson. And then she finally got out an Alfred plea and now she's trying to fight it, fight the Alfred plea. Um, the ones you talked about on your video earlier, which ones makes one wonder how many people who can't afford a lawyer. And so, oh, lots of them. Public defenders are horrendous. Hey, Tammy, there you are. We were talking, I was talking about you before. They asked if I wanted to do a making a murderer, um, um, like MAM2 so we can watch it together. I said, yeah, we can do that. I did that earlier with someone who didn't have Netflix. Thanks, Marissa. 10 days unreported, I know about this, was the fiancé, and they didn't live together. Her mom died violently. At her yes, Amanda. It was a great case. Um, tech stats after 600 miles away. Update on Kelsey case, and so now question the fiancé more closely. I just, you have to be such an idiot to... Um, kill somebody in Colorado right now? I mean, how dumb can you be? Somebody about he had no leg and he was scared. Somebody was breaking into his home. You look cute with your hair up. Thank you, Tammy. Um, so is the Kelsey case interesting? Like, is it interesting enough to really look into? Um, good help is hard to find. Hey, not really. I didn't think so. Think I'm waking up a bit. Is it Marissa Mod for you? She's good. Yeah, she's here. It's not as in, there's not much interesting as CW though. That was great though. Cause that had like a little bit of everything. Um, yeah, she's still fighting that Alfred plea. Sage, it's 11.20 at night. And? No, you don't make more popcorn now. Can I make more hot cocoa? Check the chicken. No, you don't eat. You don't drink hot chocolate at 11.30 at night. <laughs> Teenagers, I tell you. Um, but Amanda, yeah, she is. She's still fighting the Alfred plea. I know that she's hooked up with the Innocence Project, who I 
believe that they found evidence to prove like that she needs to be off the Alfred plea. 1220 here in Montreal. Yeah, it's 1119 here. That's why Montreal is like on New York time. What's happened in Colorado? That Kelsey case is Colorado. Hot cocoa with milk will make him sleepy. No, it keeps her awake. It doesn't look done. Like it's... the top looks done, but the rest. What's the heat on? Huh? 415? Really? So you put it up? Put it up a little. Uh, it shouldn't be this late. For what? I put it on like 500. No 12 days of Christmas tonight? No, I did. Well, it's still 12 days of Christmas because I'm doing a video. Um, actually two videos, but Saturday night hot talk is okay. Yeah, but it's 1130 at night. She's 13 years old. Um, she'll be up all night. Um, uh, where was I? I was in the middle of saying something. Um, oh, the, but then tonight, if you haven't seen the video that I did on that, I just put out before this live, that's all making a murder. So I'm still going back to doing Son of Sam, but when I got that information today, I had to do it. Um, Set Arvo, Wesley's update, Stephen Avery case, Tammy, go read my, go watch the video that I just posted. NyQuil will make her sleepy, not hot chocolate. Exactly. Macho Canada, I've been really into making a murder. I stumbled on this. I've been watching another Iricos or something. No, it's the same Iricos. There's only one. Okay, I love you. You're very interesting. Always interesting, but I got to get some sleep. I love you too, Linda, and you have a fantastic night. I'm actually shutting down shortly because I still got stuff to do, and it's already like 1130, and I still haven't eaten. I'm starving. I'm waiting for my chicken to get out of the oven. It's been in there for two hours already. It's still not ready. Um. Please don't put stock into the Carmen thing. I, I would not lie to you guys. It's it's done and over. Like I said, if... Bye, Phyllis. Thanks for coming. If um, Zellner ends up testing and the bones turn out to be hers, wonderful. I was right. Me and Lynn to go out and have a drink because we picked this three years ago. But all the other stuff is is nonsense. It's nothing but a conspiracy. So that's the only thing I ask. I, I know this personally. So just ex Carmen. Um, something wrong with the oven. I know that's what I'm saying. It's like taking forever. I mean, oven was working fine before. Pain pills, not good. So yeah, and I'm I'm not saying anything about any other YouTubers. I, I don't want to do that. I'm not trying to get into drama or anything. It's just Carmen, it's it's a personal thing. I I feel like you know, we promised her brother that we would let it go. We promised her brother that, you know, if something comes up, great, but we would squash all the rumors. And I'm a person of my word, and I'm gonna stick with that. So that's why I am saying it. And I have nothing to hide. You know, we're not covering up anything, but I want to respect the family who lost a daughter, you know? And to me, it, it's, it's just, it's what I promised him we would do and we would stop all the rumors and here we are. And it was good for a long time because nobody else talked about it but me. So it was easy to squash it. And then um, Zellner brought it up, which I understand people are going to talk about it because of Zellner. I totally get that. But it just everyone else, it's like, stop going back to three years ago. We've already figured all that out. We already squashed all that. Uh, you'd be lost here in Oz. Thank you, Kim. That's, I really thought I didn't turn the oven on before. I YouTube a lot with Marfugal, great show. Mevin has two buttons, so maybe hers got the same. That's integrity, Laura. Well done. It is. I, I'm just, it's, if people can spur what they want about anyone else, I don't care. Um, but when her brother came to me and said, you know, we discussed it for a long time and we hid him. You know, the three of us really hid him. Like, you know, we hit him in groups. I erased everything that he posted because we didn't want people going after him, you know, and 
they really they didn't know what was happening like why were we saying you know these things and but they were wonderful they were intrigued they wanted to know more i mean they're good people and i made that promise i believe lynn made that promise and i'm pretty sure mike ryan made that promise that we would protect him and his sister um falcon you're leaving oh i thought you were leaving um Brady's back. Holly, it's your birthday too? Today or a Sunday? The 16th or the 15th? Holly, you're the 15th or the 16th? So now we got two birthdays. Sunday, so that your exact birthday is Falcon. I need Elf on the Shelf idea. Oh, my God. You just reminded me, Steve. I have not moved it in forever. You just reminded me. I have to move it. Um, yep. Holly and Falcon have the same birthday. Karen, your birthday's tomorrow, too? No. Your birthday is not tomorrow, Karen. Or you just mean it is Sunday. That's so weird. What does it all mean? What does all what mean? What does all what mean, though? Same birthdays. It means that we can't just wish Falcon a happy birthday. We have to wish Holly a happy birthday. That's what it means. My mom called me Holly a week before Christmas. <laughs> hey, it's much better than her calling you um, um, Garland or uh, Ornament. It means they're innocent and happy birthday. Oh. Think of it, you could have been Garland Barnett. Right now, I am in Northern Alabama. Alabama. Someone's tired and hungry. I'm tired and hungry. What? Oh my God. Uh, I'm a twin. That's right, Kevin. You have twins. So I just call it and ask when my birthday is. <laughs> I should tell Sage that. Sage! Oh, she went back in her room. Um, everyone will get checks 2030 or more. The early of the 28th. Falcon meet Holly. Holly meet Falcon. You're both born on the exact same day. They say Alabama. So they really are nice people here. They really are. I got to subscribe to this channel and it's fun. It seems it is fun, Holly. We have a good time. I'm a true Minnesota twin. <laughs> the guy, the girl that my ex cheated on me with, she's from Minnesota. I don't like Minnesota. <laughs> so, you know, it's fucking, it's funny when when I used to travel a lot and we came home like for, you know, vacations, like when we first moved here and we came home the first time I ever saw the sign sweet home, Alabama, I was like, Oh my God, that's awesome. There really is like a sign says sweet home, Alabama. Hey, they all cheat here. Oh, she was such an idiot. She was like N Nicole from the Chris Watts case. Laura is wonderful. Holly. Thanks, Kim. But can we do? I have like a, not as many zero codes, but I have 150 videos all making a murder. For the most part, I have some other stuff. And then the lives, like right now we're doing the 12 days of Christmas, which I you were here when I explained. I think I explained it to you already. That goes through everything. Um, but believe me, I take my videos really seriously. And everyone here knows. And we're just like one big family. So on weekends, we just shoot the shit. You know, we talk about the case, but I mean, there's only so much you can talk about all the time. So we just shoot the shit when we do lives. Believe me, I had 13 wives. That would be scary. 
Love Alabama. I lived in Mobile for a while. Oh, I'm nowhere near Mobile. I'm all the way up by Huntsville. I used to live in Pell City. I think Pell City South too. Watching. Ah, thanks, Kim. And you see how much I've grown from the early days? Oh my God, I watch those videos. I'm like, what kind of camera? What was I thinking? I'm like, my camera was so bad. It was, and it's an expensive laptop. It was on. It was just like on this laptop. I was like, I'm such a loser. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I was, I was using an Asus laptop, which my daughter has now, but it was Asus laptop on my desk. Like, didn't even know about lighting or anything. I had no idea. Uh. Good night, Ericos. Um, Thank you, Tammy. Oh, not me. You meant this other person. I thought you meant me. Um, hi, Bernard. We have a PJ party. That's right. We have a PJ party every Friday night. And what we'll do too sometimes is we'll have a, like a group session. So a lot of us will be in hangout together. Um, I'm thinking about doing that. Um, one of these nights and the 12 nights of Christmas, maybe even the last night, cause it's Christmas Eve or the night before that. Um, and this way, like we can do a group session. We do that. We have, we just have fun. All right, Brady, what's your joke? Oh, Tammy, I thought you were talking about somebody else. <laughs> um, yeah, we have a good time. But I do take my my videos very seriously. Um, why the chicken fall into the well? I could not tell you. Don't know. He's certainly not falling out of my oven, I'll tell you that much. I bought two new Sherpa throws. Valerie, I love TJ Maxx. Next time you're in there, you have to get the big Reese's peanut butter cup that they have. That's like $4. Oh my God. It's so good. I hid it from my kids so they wouldn't eat it. It lasted like five days. <clears throat> um, Cause he couldn't see that well. <laughs> that was pretty bad, Brady. Send me a greeting. What's up, Jacob? Send me, you want a New York greeting or an Alabama greeting? This throw is so soft. I bet it is. Um, I just described awesome chicks. So chill. Thank you, Holly. I tell a joke on my channel. I don't, I'm not a joke, sir. Like, I don't have a lot of jokes. I don't know why. I just don't. Um, who won the gift card? It's, we're not at 5,000 yet. We have to hit 5,000. So Holly, since you're new at 5,000 subscribers is the first break point. I'm going to do a, um, a raffle or something like there's uh, software that will randomly pick a subscriber and to win um, either a $50 gift card or a $100 gift card. It kind of depends when I do this, five, when I hit the $5,000. Um, but I'm most likely going to be a $100 gift card unless it happens on an off week and it has to be 50 But it'll be a $100 gift card. And every 5,000 subscribers, I'm going to be doing some kind of giveaway and like the prize will be double. So that's that. Um, I don't want to be in the Hangout, but I like to watch. That's okay. Four eight three three. Um, thank you, Phoebe. Rubber Duck is supposed to post a new video. Uh, you can click the dots on the right of someone and then go to channel. Um, Five hundred degrees. That chicken has to be cooked. You would think. It's probably burnt. My daughter's not telling me. I'm going to go check it. I'll be right back.
And Holly, this is Fluffinutter Butter. He's like making a murderer mascot. Oh. He's our little mascot. Right? <laughs> this is Fluffinutter Butter. Waldo's over here eating his food. He tired. What's the matter? I do make chicken a lot. The other dog is filthy. He like ran in mud or something. Good night, Jazzy. Yeah, his name's Winston, but we call him Fluff and Nutter Butter. Right? <laughs> Yeah, you should hear him snoring. He's pretty funny. Right? You snoring? You snoring? Come on. Oh, shit. Hang on. I'll give you a blooper. Push the chicken back. Huh? Push the chicken back. I thought you were Buka jumping up. He is tired. He, he's funny, though. What? You want to come back? What? Come here. Nope. You don't want to come back? Um, Get him another fluff of butter. What? If his shirt was black and white stripes, he'd look like you wrongfully convicted. I know you hear all the time snoring during your videos. So adorable. No, he really snores. I keep saying I've got to find this video. He really snores. Like, it's hysterical. Um, let me see if I can find it. He sounds like a human. Um, get me another nutter butter, says Fluff. Now, you see how cute he is when he sleeps in his bed. That's when he sleeps in his bed. Um, let me try gallery. This is taking me forever. All right. Um, it would be a dark video. Nope. Oh, you know what? I totally forgot to put this in the, in the, um, oh, you know what? I, there's stuff I didn't put in the video that I just remembered. I'll save it for part two. Um, nope. This might be it. No, it's not it. Oh, wait, maybe it is. Yeah, I think this is it. Listen. It's coming up. There is it. This is my dog snoring. Oh, 
That's fluffing out about her snoring. Is that not hysterical? I think there's more. Like, how funny is that? I can't tell if that is cure. And no, it's it's not. And he sleeps right next to me at night. And it's just so funny. I mean, it's louder because to you guys because it's going through here. But yeah, it's pretty funny. Uh, <laughs> he does sound like an adult. <laughs> he sounds like a human being. I don't, can you clean dog sinuses, Valerie? I don't know how to do that. Like little dogs have so many issues. My big one, nothing. Um, Erico's, I think Erico's left, I think. Um, Falcon about trace the key and why they made a copy of it when they didn't need it. And further, they should have Jimmy the car open. Small nostrils. I agree. Yeah, Erico's left. What time will you be on tomorrow night? Tomorrow night, Sunday. I'm going to try to go earlier. I would like to be on at seven. Um, you didn't totally miss it, Heather. I'm getting on Erico's last nerve just to feel it. Why, Falcon? Falcon, I have, I'm friends with a bunch of guilters. I, just because we don't agree on this case, we usually agree on everything else. Seven central time. I need notice when you guys are live. Well, Holly, over the next, up until Christmas... I'm going to be live every day, but after that, I'm going to, I usually do um, a premiere on Tuesday and live on Friday. And then the rest, I'll just do videos. You are the token guilter. Yeah, Falcon, I would never get mad at you. I, everybody is entitled to their opinion and none of us know. Does anyone else wish so bad you could have went to the Avery property on that area on the quarry where the dog scent went? That was so suspicious. Did they ever dig there? You, not on Avery property. You mean on Cuss Road. The dogs didn't hit on Avery property. They hit on, or I think they hit on Josh Randon's property. You can set an alert on YouTube. Yeah, if you hit the button, um, the bell, you should you would be able to hear it, but Tuesday and Fridays are my normal nights. And then sometimes Saturday nights, but those are def definite, like those don't change. And then, but up until Christmas, I'm going to be live every day. Um, the key should have never been made further. They should have opened the door to the Rev if they thought a missing person would be in there. Check Facebook page for info on upcoming premieres and stuff. Sorry, filters are obnoxious. I, Holly, are you on Facebook? Oh, filters, guilters. Not all. Some of them are, not all, though. Falcon's a really good guy. Falcon is new to the case, though. He's not like an old timer. Um, and he's, in my opinion, Falcon's always been very respectful to me. Um, he's been respectful to everybody in here. Him and Joe may get some fights going, but he's always been respired. I have no problems with Falcon at all. No, not on Facebook. Are you on Twitter? There are a few uncertain folks, but we aim to educate. That's right. I think Falcon will change his mind after a while. I don't know anyone could possibly believe Stephen Avery is guilty. No, see, Stephanie, my whole thing is 
Falcon is part of the family. That's right. Um, Amina on Twitter. Falcon, you're on Twitter under the same name. I don't. I don't get mad at people who think Stephen Avery's guilty. I don't understand how people can say that he doesn't deserve a fair trial or that he doesn't deserve a new trial. That's my thing. I know, right, Amanda? Like, how could you be mean on Twitter? That's why I forgot they're getting married. Um, the belief of guilty or innocent, he deserves to... Holly, that has been my entire thing, though. Um, I don't care if he's guilty or innocent. He deserves a new trial. And if you're not going to give him a new trial, then that tells me even more that he's innocent because if he obviously, he you guys have something to hide or you would just give him a new trial. Um, you know, if there's so much overwhelming evidence against him, then you shouldn't be worried and just give him a new trial. And that's that. But they won't do that. That to me screams volumes. Let's watch Zellner on MAM3 kick ass. Um, I am Falca and Opoda on Twitter. But there I talk about other things. Not so much this case. Um, hopefully the new democratic leadership. I hope so. I hope the new democratic leader does something with that state. I mean, it says a lot though, that Wisconsin, which is such a Republican state went Democrat, you know, it's, it's like they finally had enough and that's a good thing. And we know who'll win those fights. Time of the, yeah, the president can't pardon anybody. It's not a federal case. Even just house arrest at home with mom and dad. Do you think you can get a fair trial? I don't know, Deborah. I, I'm at the point I don't know. Because now I think there's so much that's come out about the case that I almost feel like, you know what, maybe he can't get a fair trial, but the other way, like I think so many people saw the injustice, especially on Brendan, and just want him out um, because they believe that he doesn't belong there. I don't know. I th it's really so up in the air. It could go either way. I'm arguing with a guy there right now. I'm pretty sure he hates the Jews. Oh, God. Um, for sure, a new trial, if they're going to stand behind a conviction, then for sure. That's exactly what, exactly what I'm saying, Holly. No, Karen, he's saying that the guy he's fighting with on Twitter, he's pretty sure is a racist asshole. That's how I took it. Um, here, here, Brady. Seems like house arrest would work. It's not a bad idea. But, I mean, think about it. Would you really want to... Um, would you really want Brendan to be home all the time with Scott Taddock and Barb? I don't think, I think he's better off in jail. I mean, Karen, I'm guessing. I think that's the way I took it though. And I think Falcon's Jewish. So that's why I didn't look much into it. Uh, maybe supporters are by comparison, very nice people. Yes, we are. Um, um, like why not let Zellner test all the evidence? I agree. Tali, you're ex exactly on the same wavelength as I am. Put him on Blast Falcon, then everyone can visit him. <laughs> hey, Ginger. Brennan needs to go home with another family. I agree, Adrian, 100%. Um, I think most of Avery's support will want justice for everyone. Absolutely. I agree with that, Stephanie. 
Um, amen. You're right. Guilty or innocent deserves a fair trial with testing of the rap four. Yeah. I, that's another thing I've tried to look into this and I haven't been able to find a definitive. Are they not allowing her to test it because that's a trial thing? Like she has to get an evidentiary trial for the, like for them to test it or are they like seriously just holding something back that I don't know. That's something that I've weighed. I've tried looking into it. I haven't been able to get a definitive answer. Um, Fack enjoys being a protagonist. Halfway home. Even. <laughs> um, totally scared. I'm sure. But like, it just, it makes you wonder what is up with the RAV4 that they will not show her. A, do they have a right not to show her because they have to wait till she gets an evidentiary hearing? Or are they completely hiding something that they can't cover? And that's why they won't give it to her. It's one of those two reasons. Um, Falcon, that is so not true. Adrian, I want to say that they're scared too, but there it's one or the other. There's either something so up with the RAV4 that they can't hide it and they know that it's going to blow the entire case. But at the same time, why isn't she filing motions to get it? It, it would be left up to a judge. So to me, she's not fighting that hard to get it either. Um, she should be able to get all the evidence related. I know, Amanda, but I don't remember her filing like or appealing that aspect of it either. So, yeah. so I'm thinking maybe she doesn't need it. I don't know. I'd be terrified of them messing it with somehow. I Brady, I said the same thing about the computer, about everything. Zelda with 20 convictions, so 19. Yep. This Wisconsin place keeping her away. It's absurd. I agree. Do all your comments show up or do you need? What do you mean, Mr. Steve? Do all my comments show up? It's in her. Oh, it is in the December 20th filing? I would think so. To be an all. To be an all the time commenter. Huh? Born and raised in Cali. Steve, I don't know what you mean. See, I actually like doing the Google Hangouts better because this way I'm not like the only one talking. Confusing, Steve. I'm confused. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not getting it. I'm from Pennsylvania. I'm a transplant. Pennsylvania's good. She shouldn't lose this case. Your comments should always show during lives. Yeah, they do. And even on playback, you can read all the comments on playback as well. I just got here. So what was bad that you mentioned in the title of the video? Stephanie, you must have missed it. <clears throat> what do you mean they're getting rid of Google Hangouts? Um, Stephanie, you must have missed it. Kosorik shot his own brother in the head after Kosorik was having an affair with his wife. And the brother never did anything to, um, never went to the police and never charged him. Why? Because he's probably scared of Kosorik. That was the title. Sometimes comment gets bugged, leave and come back. Stephanie, check out video. Yeah. Um, Stephanie, go watch the video that I post. That's why I'm like, I'm confused. I put, I premiered a video before here. That's what you want to watch. I thought you watched it already and like, didn't know what I was talking about. So I apologize. 
My son said, how does, why are they getting rid of Google Hangouts? Um, like Google Hangouts for YouTube or Google Hangouts, period? So the brother wasn't having an affair with his wife. No, the Tom was having an affair with his brother's wife. I lived a block from Psycho, chopped up a body, and nailed his body parts. Huh? China taking over. Do you, Google is China. Do you think that this publicity will entice Kasorik's brother to comment? Maybe. It's possible, Karen. Tempting joining Hangouts and I got an error. I did watch it. Uh, Luke, Luke Magnata. Um, my friend John showed me that video. I can handle gore. I can handle serious gore. I've watched horror flicks for 47 years. Well, not 47, but like 40, 40 years. I could not handle that video. At first I was like, this is so stupid. But towards the end of that video, I could not watch anymore. I was literally, I ended up throwing up at the end of the video. Um, not something I've ever done from horror. I was so nauseated. I was like, wow, I'm either getting old or that was extremely sick. I also read Hangouts was going. Bye-bye. I hope not. Holly, did you see the snuff film that went the snuff film that went with it? Oh my god. It was it was I can't even think about it. It was vile. Um Valerie, are you talking about the Magnata case? My friend John posted this. It's like a snuff video, but it's a real video. And he had mailed it to somebody, but it, it, it's what he does to this body that it just turns your stomach. It's not a movie. It was like a snuff film. I can probably get it. Um, Let me see if he's on. My friend John's crazy like that. He's got all this crazy shit. Um, John, John, John. I'm trying to think who else sent the video. Um, I don't think he's on at the moment. He was sending it to everybody. It was so gross. Um, what? Where did that get posted? No, he mailed it. He mailed it to three places. Okay. He vacuumed kittens, really? Um, hey, it was, it was insane. And I'm telling you, I can handle just about anything. I don't get scared from horror flicks. I mean, I'm I'm really good at handling st stuff. I literally vomited at the end of the video. I thought I was the only demented one. No, I'm pretty demented. Hey, Andy. Um, it started with kittens. Well, that's what they say, but the, he he let like the kittens eat the guy's skin or something. Or was that rats or something? I don't know. Ugh, it was vile. Laura's buffering here. Anyone else buffering? I don't know why I'm buffering. Uh, oh, it was dog. It was something. It was gross. Yeah, I don't know why I keep buffering. I literally, I don't know if it's YouTube, if it's my internet. Let me do a speed test. I know that our arsenal around here is doing some crazy testing for the last two days. So I'm wondering if that's what's causing all this buffering. But I'm going to do a speed test. 
see what it happens. Because I mean, I I have high internet. Um, the son has friends over gaming. Probably slowed my connection. Now I we, we that buffering that you guys that had to be the video because we all buffed at the same time. And it's not my internet. Seven hundred and forty Mbps. So I'm definitely it's definitely not my internet. I don't know what it is. I have to tell you about a claim I had, it was gross. I can imagine. It's okay here in Scotland. Another one from Scotland. I'm thinking it could it might be YouTube. But I, like I said, I do know the arsenal around here is doing some crazy testing. It would sound like a storm last night. But like when I was playing back the video, there were no breaks in it. I didn't have any buffering or anything. And then all of a sudden I thought maybe, okay, maybe it's watching it. But you guys all saw the buff the whole thing, which is why I think it's YouTube. No, I do. I think it's YouTube. But in three minutes, I'm shutting down. I am literally starving, and I it's 12, and I still have to put – I washed all my sheets and blankets and everything today, and I have to put all that back together, which is so not fun. Um, exit and reload, then it must be YouTube. I do. I'm telling you, I think it is YouTube. It has to be YouTube because, like I said, when I watched the video, when you know, I skipped around, but I there was no skipping in it. Um, I, it is something's going on. You know what? I could check. Um, you mean I got up out of bed for three minutes? I'm sorry, Andy. We've been on for two and a half hours. Did you watch the video though? That's the question. You have to watch the video that I premiered before this. Um, Um, you know what? I think I know what it is. I just looked it up online and there's a whole bunch of things about YouTube buffering and it may be the setting that I'm on. I have to change a setting. Um, Janelle Ruff, I just want to warn you, it's very slow. I mean, it really is a slow series. I'm flying out on holiday today, so needed to get some sleep. Sleep is good. Kim, that's where I'm on is episode four. Um... Video before this. Thank you, Marissa. Yeah, it might be the setting because I used to. Do you guys, most of you guys have 4K TVs or no? Or most of you guys watch it from um, um, cell phones? I will persevere. Four, five, and six left. I'm on laptop. Laptop should be good because for some reason on the lives lately, it changed the setting and it used to be on um, like low latency and they, they said that high, uh, even lower is better for all streaming. I don't know. It's weird. But I know it used to be on the higher one. So I'm going to try putting on because the last two days it's been buffering. It happened last night, too. Not as bad as tonight, but it happened last night, too. Oh, I have never watched one episode of Game of Thrones. Not one. 
Um, no, it's not your internet. It's got to be these settings. And I didn't like, I didn't change them, but it seems to be a common problem on YouTube. It's 106 on my end. 231 on my end. Innocent man about a guy who confessed a dream and they took it as a confession and went on, but was exonerated by Gary Shock. And Holly, it's like I've been saying, it's the exact same story of Ryan Ferguson. Ryan Ferguson was put in jail because his friend said he had a dream that he committed this crime and that Ryan did it with him. It's like the guy had to have read this book. His Ryan's friend that busted him, he had to have read this book. That's the only other explanation I can come up with. Rewatch what? Game of Thrones or rewatch re this one? <clears throat> yeah, Holly, it's it's like when I first heard the story, like when I was, you know, watching episode one, I'm like, this is how Ryan got busted. His friend said he had this dream. So there's nothing that's going to make me believe that he didn't read this book in the past. Because, I mean, who does that? Who comes up with a story like I had a dream I killed someone to arrest me? Oh, okay, Amanda. Because I was like, I don't know if I could sit through this again. Yeah, my friend Tony is uh, uh, big on um, Game of Thrones. Does Facebook Live not work for you? I've never done Facebook Live. To me, like, to me, Facebook Live is just not even half as professional as Google Hangouts, but that's just me. Um, this guy was from 1984, way before. Yeah, but the book was written in, I think, the 80s or the 90s. Yeah, the book was written in like the 80s or 90s. Um... I watch my Verizon wireless network cell phone. Thank you, Tammy. <clears throat> I'm actually leaving too. It's late. It's 12 already and I still have to do my bed, which I'm so not looking forward to. <clears throat> but tomorrow, don't forget, tomorrow night, I am, I am going to do the second half of this. If SA gets out of prison, would you date him? Not at all. But I don't like blondes. He's too short for me, and he's certainly not my type. Um, on an unrelated subject, I now have this guy on Twitter convinced I'm an Israeli intelligence operator. That's how paranoid some of them are. That is very true. He'll be single. Yeah, no money in the world could make me want to date him or marry into his family. Valerie, I will see you tomorrow. Um, Fed me here for a year. Big props to me. I'm personally not speed and buffering. FBI is going to show up at your house, Falcon. <laughs> Tomorrow, I will. I'm. I'll put up the time. Count on like seven o'clock. Um, I'm cleaning tomorrow during the day, but the research that I have to do for it is pretty much done. Um, but count on seven for the premiere. Eight for a live video. I'm um, somewhere around there, but I really, I can't go past nine anymore because I have to get to bed. Um, good night, guys. I will see you tomorrow. I'm telling you, my bed's going to take 20 minutes. So thank you, Repo. Um, and we can talk about, thanks, Kim. We can talk about lots of things tomorrow. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you check out my other videos. And I will see you tomorrow for... Night four of 12 Nights of Christmas. Me, Valerie, my daughter said that to me. She's like, Mom, you only have like 11 days left. And you still haven't gone shopping. Chill, little child. I will get to shopping. So have a great night, guys. And thank you as we are one big family. And everyone hit the like button. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.